so we're back. We're back on the bar. Yeah. Uh, and you'll pretty much, Janine will be able to show us the right way of doing things, and then we'll kind of figure out with me where we're supposed to go. For so sure. what are we working now? We're going to work the seat. So we're going to pick. Seat. We, so we the bum? Yeah, the bum. Okay. So one glued at a time. So what we're going to do is go palm over palm on the bar. Okay. Resting your forehead on the bar. You want to make sure that your body's in a 90 degree position such as this. You're going to raise your right leg back and it's all about uh, height. Okay, so I need to bring my feet in then. Yes, you're okay. going to be hip width, you're going to be hip with the part. It's all it's not about height, it's all about length. So the straighter the leg the better. You're going to flex your toe. And what I'm going to do is going to square you up. It's important to be square and then we tuck under. So squeezing your seat together and then you're going to go up an inch, up hold, up hold, up hold. That's one movement that you can do. And then what you can do from here is bending at the knee. You can put your foot towards the ceiling and stamp the ceiling. One up, one inch up, one inch up and holding. And it's really focusing on the glutes and making sure that you have that tuck under. It's difficult at first to do, but once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. But tucking under is the key. All right, and pulling so I've your... already shifted that whole time I was shifting? You shift, yeah, because what oh. happens is when you move your leg, your torso actually twists to the left when you're doing the right leg and opposite if you're doing the left leg. So you have to really think of a couple of things. Mm -hmm. So when you bring up that leg, you're gonna just stamp the ceiling and hold and focusing on pulling in your navel, so your abdominal wall, and then focusing on squeezing your glutes. Ouch. Yeah. 